Hello everyone and welcome to Examby. In this video, I'm going to talk about how non-CSIT candidates have to prepare for SEBI IT. So we all know that SEBI brings the notification for IT aspirants every year. And this particular opportunity is not only restricted to CSIT candidates. You, if are a bachelor in engineering from any stream, you can apply for this particular stream. Also, there are some certain set of other people who are not the engineers, they can also apply for that. You can look at the notification of the previous year for the eligibility. Now, the point of discussion is how one has a ability to identify whether they are going to prepare for such kind of exam where they haven't been studying anything since long amount of time or they have no idea basically. So IT is one of the stream where you can find applications in every organization. So every organization is using the technology. So that's why even if you are not directly associated with the CSIT concepts, you are using them anyhow, unknowingly or knowingly. So this particular branch is the backbone for everything. And in the near future, and definitely the future is of the IT only. So that's why the government organizations are also focusing a lot on the uh, hiring of the IT candidates. And SEBI, being a very good organization it's a best place and a kind of ideal place a dream place for the people to work and if you can get an opportunity with it that will actually give you a blooming future so now i will talk about the entire thing in three manners so i'm going to break down these things in three things okay now are you ready for identifying what I am going to bring on this video? If yes, we are going to start. First, you have to identify the step number one. The step number one will be determining the approach. Then the second step will be tackling the syllabus and pattern of the exam. And the third will be the finishing touch. And once you are done with all three things, there is the success that you will be getting in SEBI and you will be getting uh, like a seat in SEBI, you will get a job in SEBI, whatever you can say. So at least for me, the success here is not actually being in that final list. But for me, I will give you an insight that what can be exact success for all the non-CSIT candidates that they qualify the mains exam. Interview is the another thing. We'll talk uh, about that in a separate video. But here for uh, the concern, I am just uh, limiting the entire success point not having a job inside semi but qualifying the mains with good marks if you do so you are 90 percent there then the 10 percent is just the interview so that is our area of discussion preliminary examination and the mains examination the phase one and the phase two okay now i'm going to talk about these three things in one by one manner so the very first thing is to determine the approach in determining the approach you have to address certain points and these points are written in bold in front of you. First, you have to determine what material you have to cover. Then you have to make a study plan, figure out your study methods and organize yourself for the test. So everybody knows this, but it needs to be uh, done regularly and it should be done repetitively so that you can uh, harvest some result out of it. For doing that, I'm just putting that out on the slide so that you can understand and relate to this thing. It is an easy thing. Even a non-CSIT people can do it in three, four, five months. It depends what kind of time you are putting into it. But trust me, it is very easy and fun loving process to understand the CS and IT concepts and especially coding. Now, the very first step is determining what material needs to be covered. So when I talk about studying the CSIT subjects, it is not that you have to do the entire graduation subjects. What you need to do, you have to take the reference from the SEBI syllabus for phase one and phase two, because in phase one and phase two, both the examination, the IT part is going to come. Now, you have to get the materials that you need to study. That is the main part. You need the material to study and now you have to divide the subject as per the priority. So the priority should be given in two manners, primary and secondary. Primary will be IT and English. I will let you know why English is so important. And the secondary one will be quant reasoning and general awareness. So IT definitely because it is coming in phase one and phase two both, it is damn important. And it is the main 
core of the exam so that's why it is the primary subject and english also comes in both the phases phase 1 and phase 2 in phase 2 it's a major uh, play because everyone performs good in iit but they take the english part somehow like granted so i will suggest you prepare for both of these with the equal discipline do not take english descriptive especially for granted then secondary steps are quants reasoning and general awareness you study them make sure that you pass the cut off and then you are good to go for the phase 2 now making the study plan so the day when you decide that you have to start for this exam from that day you have to make the study plan and the study plan should be divided in the weeks you should not make a study plan for an entire month you have to make the study plan for a week and check what goals you have set and what you want to achieve and identify whether you are lacking or you are doing good or you can increase your plans for the week so this kind of uh, analysis you have to do for your own self because you only know how fast you are studying you only know how much time you are going to put into your studies now figure out your study method so there are two types of uh, people who apply for the job some are working some are non working so for the people who are working you have to identify your entire day schedule doesn't matter which job you are doing but you have to identify your schedule and you have to make sure that you extract every hour from the day to put into your preparation so you have to identify your study method somebody will be studying while they are traveling back to the uh, home or they are traveling to the office somebody will be studying in the office during their lunch time or something like that so you have to identify your study methods and also you have to make every hour count for your preparation because once you are into it you are not going back and you are going forward only to prepare for this exam now if you are not working people then what you have to do you have to divide your entire study plan as per the sebi subjects so all the sebi subjects you have to identify where you are lacking where you are not lacking how much preparation do you need and according to that only you have to plan your study now the last one is to organize yourself for the test so first you need to get a temperament that you are going to appear for this test and you are going to make it this is the very first step if you decide it you are halfway there now you have to get yourself familiar with the pattern of the exam how you do it you do it first you look at the notification understand the pattern take the syllabus thing you do it then attempt the mock test and get in touch with the previous year paper for the understanding so understanding of the previous year papers and the questions is the most important thing because you get to know what is the current trend of the uh, particular uh, exam and how well you are good with the pattern of the exam so knowing the pattern of the exam is very 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 important because your mind should be prepared and your mind should be organized for the exam so these are the first uh, pillars that you need to have this is the first step that you need to like uh, climb up to get to the second step the second step is tackling the syllabus for the exam and the pattern of the exam so as i discussed primary and secondary subjects how to tackle so tackling will be done using these eight steps the very first thing complete the syllabus for it phase 1 do not get into anything first complete the syllabus for it phase 1 then attempt the chapter test and check your command in the it concepts because this is majorly needed because you haven't read anything of the it so you have to focus more on it part because you know qre and ga that is also not going to count so much in phase 1 as it does for it and you need to invest more time in it so you have to complete the entire syllabus of it it is not that big just stick word by word to the syllabus and you are done then attempting the chapter test to check whether you are good or not so you for, let's say you complete data structures you have to give data structures test so that you get to know what you have read you are able to reproduce that kind of result in your test okay now attempt the qre and ga chapter test because this is also necessary it is not the thing that you are going to take something lightly but this will be the third step attempt the mock test weekly at minimum at this stage when you are just starting and you can increase the frequency after on then come to phase 2 and start writing small posts for the below topics which are data structure algorithm string manipulation and oops concept 
you start writing small quotes while learning as well and then you attempt the previous year question from the phase two and get yourself uh, the real time questions and the real time pressure for the exam then try with the moderate level of quotes do not go for high level quotes for the moderate level of quotes and at least try to practice on pariksha platform which will be your actual platform on the exam day at least twice a week once before phase one so before phase one you have to do this exercise twice a week on pariksha you can attempt as many quotes you can attempt as many questions it depends how much time you are having but after the phase one is over the strategy is going to change the frequency for writing quotes will increase drastically and you have to do it at least 10 to 15 quotes daily if you want to get there now the final thing is the finishing touch where you have to just do three things revision mock test identify your core areas revision mock test and then again identify your core areas work on the improvement points and go ahead so this way you have to repeat the cycle and these are the simple three steps which will actually help you to land for your dream job in semi now i hope this video helped all the non cs it candidates who are uh, like in a dilemma or who were unclear whether they are going to appear for SEBI IT or not or they can or they cannot so the very first thing is like stop doubting yourself give it a try it's not the first time that you will be failing we have failed many times in our life but the major thing is at least we tried so I will say even if you are not like having any idea and if you feel that you can do it go ahead and try for this particular opportunity because this is actually a great opportunity for all the people who are out there so now this was all about from my side for this particular discussion if you want to know what our course offerings are there for SEBI IT do check our website that is www.ixambi.com and check our course offering with the demo course as well you can prepare 50% faster with iXambi because we provide you all the material as per the examination pattern only we will have live classes we will have video lessons, we will have PDS, chapter test, mock test, interview guidance, everything. So this is an end-to-end -end solution for your preparation. If you still have any doubt, mention in the comment section or you can just write us at hello.examby.com or can give us a call on the number which is flashed on the screen. So that was all for the extra information. Do like the video and motivate us to make such more videos. Also subscribe the channel if you're still an unsubscribe user and hit the bell icon so that you get update from our side and you never miss any update. So till the time we bring our next video, keep practicing and stay updated.